market update as we go into March. Five metrics, five minutes. Let's see if we can get it done today. All right, first one, median sales price. We had it tick up from 750 to 760. That is the first increase in sales price here in San Diego County since November. That's big news. Let's dig into this. Let's figure out why. The next metric to look at, sales to list price ratio. Listed for a dollar, sells for a dollar. That's 100%. Our peak was in April 2022 at 106.2%. It was a continued decrease until December where it bottomed out at 96.6. Ticked up in January, 97.3, and again to 98.7. This is indicative that buyers are out writing offers even with the higher interest rates, right? Now remember, part of this has to do with the interest rates did come down in January, but they are absolutely back up right now, but the buyer demand is out there. Depending on your price point, we are looking at multiple offers again. If you're under about 1.5, that's your reality. Let's talk more about this, all right? The next metric, active listings, all right, down again. Peak was in July 2022 at 5,576. We currently are at 2,504, all right? That is a very low number. It's up 2.5%, 2.6% from last year, but as you can see, or not a lot of opportunities, not a lot of options out there. So we got a very high demand. We have a very low supply. The next one, we're going to look at new and pending together. So this is going to be a ratio. New listings, we can see overall they tick down from 2,300 to nine, just above 1,900. All right, we didn't have a ton of properties come on. That's 41% less than what we saw last year. All right, so if we look at 1,935 that came on, we compare it to the pending, 1,984 went away. We're absorbing them faster than we're bringing them on. That's creating this pricing increase. All right, so again, the pending house that's on the market accepts an offer goes from active to pending. I mean, it's in escrow. December, 1515, it was a brutal December. Ticked up a little bit to 1875, and at this point, we're just under 2,000 homes that have gone into escrow for the month of February, All right? So we are going through properties faster than they're coming on. All right, now, just to give you a better idea, last metric, and I have a lot of time left, days on market and inventory, All right? Days on market is going to tell us, show us a very interesting picture. In January, it, home was on the market for a median time of 27 days. That's how long it was on the market. Part of that has to do with it's January going, coming through to the holidays in the January. But when we see a precipitous drop of uh, from 27 down to 18 days, so nine day drop in one month, buyers are out there. They're writing offers. I can tell you this because I have clients that are out there that are writing offers. I have clients that are in escrow. I have clients that are getting deals right now. So when we look at the days on market, they are lasting for fewer days. You have a little bit less time. 18 days is still a tremendous amount of time. But if a property comes on that looks really good, it's in great condition and priced appropriately, it's gone. All right, now, when we compare this to the months of inventory, we are currently at 1.1 months of inventory. We do not have a lot of homes for sale. We saw that in the active listings. We saw that that was low. We know that our peak was back here in July again at 1.8 months. We ticked up a little bit in September and October, but we have done nothing but drop back down. So there's not a lot of inventory on the market. So here's the deal. When we look at interest rates, as we currently stand, they're in the high sixes again. Right? It's not good. Nobody likes that. Interest rates are not locked in. Right? The sales price, that never changes. If you buy a house at a million dollars, it's a million dollars until you decide to sell it. If you have a 6.7% interest rate, guess what, guys? The interest rates are going to come down. We refinance. You get the interest rate that you want. You have a little bit of an uncomfortable payment for a few months, but that's just the reality of where we're at. Let me tell you about some of my clients. They're out there writing offers. They're getting deals they're beating multiple offers they're getting property substantially under list price all of this are making happen irregardless of the interest rate right when you understand cpi when you understand how inflation is guiding the interest rates we know that in may may 10th that's the big date we're going to see inflation start to get more under control by the middle of the summer inflation is going to be down interest rates are going to be back into the fives buyers are coming out of the woodwork that 760 median sales price is going to go back up. Hit me up, guys. Let's get on Zoom. Let's get together. Let's talk about this. Let me show you how I can get you a deal on a property and help you with the interest rate. All right, guys. Happy house hunting.